Welcome back to another YouTube video. If you live in the UK and when I'm recording this, it's the 15th of June, you'll understand why I'm not in my normal t-shirt, my appropriate like you know, t-shirt for YouTube. I'm in a vest because it's like ridiculously hot outside. And yet again, I've escaped down into the Lego room, the cool, nice Lego room to do a YouTube video. Um, and this one, I was basically just like sat there thinking, what would be cool to do? What would be something like a bit different? Um, and as you can see, I've, you know, like trying to sort out the Lego room a bit. I'm redesigning it a little bit because I'm buying a couple more units. So I want like a big loop to go around the whole room. Um, sort out all my boxes as well, which is crazy. But yeah, anyway, the point of this video is to show you just, I just had a bit of fun with Lego for once instead of just building to the book. And this is what I've just gone and done. Welcome to tie racing. <laughs> no need for pod racing anymore. The Imperials have gotten on to how cool this um, this sport is and they've designed some of their own tie racers, which look pretty cool. Um, I basically nabbed off the pieces of the, um, like the Sebulba and pod racer. Um, the Sebulba and Anakin pod racer duo set. And I just nicked up these little pieces here, yeah. But I saw like, I saw something kind of similar with an X-Wing and I was like, you know what, it'd be cool. Like X-Wing racing doesn't sound that good. Tie racer sounds a little bit better. So yeah, I just thought I'd do these, but it literally took me like 10 minutes, just to take the wings off, attach these, um, found these little screen pieces in my piece um, box. And yeah, that just make like, a little cool, um, you know, the little electric bit that does over Jar Jar Binks in the movie. I don't, I'm not sure what it's called, but I'm just going to call it electric thing that holds the wings together because that sounds cool. Um, so yeah, we got the TIE Bomber Racer. This one is very quick. It's very sleek looking and it does the job. It even gets, uh, you can sit there and then you can drop bombs just like a Mario Kart. Rather than then you've got like your little, I don't know, what should we call it? Like little sensor where you can aim behind you and we can capsule that cap catapult that blue shell just like in mario kart fling it over to first place and then take first place in the last second so yeah there's the toy bomber racer it's quite cool actually and then we've gone for the cement original here we've gone for the toy racer just normal standard tie racer this this is if you're poor in the um if this is if, this is if you're a poor pilot in the imperial and then you move on to something a bit more sleek if uh yeah if you get a bit more money but as you can tell i'm absolutely waffling to be honest guys because it's so hot outside and i did this in like five minutes i was like oh yeah i'm just gonna put this together as a little youtube video because i don't want to be outside and i've currently got no sets to build at the moment I'm, I've redone the, you know, Lego room, and that's that's enough for one day. So I thought I'd just do something a little fun here. So if you want to turn off now, don't because it's. Uh, I'm going to show you what they actually look like, so you can just go ahead and build something a lot better than what I've just done. Take your time on it, and yeah, I thought it was just a cool concept, quite a cool little idea. I like. I've done it that bad that I haven't even took out the blue Technic pieces or anything like that. I've just literally, you know that that's just come from Anakin's Pod Racer and I've just stuck it on there. But yeah, these are my tie racers. Would it be cool to see one of these in like a pod race? Which one would you choose to drive? I know I'd go for the sleek looking bomber, definitely. So that was just like a really, really short little YouTube video. Um, it's just something I want to keep putting content out there as well as you know the good content that i pump out like the reviews and the veneta video and my rebel fleet and all that sort of stuff but you know don't hate me for just adding a couple of little mini videos in like this because i just i want to keep the content going i want to make it fun i want to make it enjoyable good like little easy watch and it's just too hot outside to do anything. So I'm in I'm in the Lego room, scratching my head, thinking, what else can I do? I've got to get ready for the um, the show. I'm doing a show soon, but more on that later. Uh, that's in August. And yeah, there's just so much to do. And 
I just thought I'd have a bit of fun for half an hour building some random toy racers and popping a YouTube video out of it. So as always, thank you so much for the support and make sure you wear some sun cream because it's absolutely boiling hot in England right now. Cheers.